fairly decent size largemouth bass we caught today. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fillet this out for you and I'm going to show you how to fillet it first. Um, I like to take, I'm going to scale this because I like to leave the skin on the whole failing, the whole scaling um, process, or actually the whole filleting process actually can take the skin off. But the way I like to eat my fish, I like to eat the skin as well, and I like to leave the skin on. So I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, but for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to descale this with the spoon and running water. I'm going to put some water on, and then just kind of go against the grain. So that the scales don't fly everywhere, and they will fly everywhere. You'll be finding scales for months, I know. If you don't do it underwater, or if you don't do it under running water. And it's going against the grain, flip it over, back in the tail. motion like so. I want to get the bottom, I want to get the throat, I want to get all of it. Use the tip, use the tip of the spoon for areas around the fin, around the dorsal fin. said I like to leave the skin on, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the little critter over on this side here. I'm going to lay some paper down for cleaning purposes to be a little more clean. I'm going to do this. Okay? So, I'll come over here a little bit more. Okay. All right. Okay. So essentially, what you what I want to do is I want to cut down behind the fin here. I'm gonna flip this over. Flip them over. Okay. I want to cut down behind the fin here, and then I want to run and find the spine, the dorsal spine, and I want to run my blade down along, all the way through to probably about here, and then I want to continue to cut without cutting off the skin to the tail, okay? So hopefully this fillet knife is sharp enough. So I want to take this, and I want to just kind of run this behind the, the uh, fin there, and take the tip until I can hit the bone here. Then I want to take this, I find the bone, and I want to run the fillet knife around, along like so. So if you can get a close up, see, 
I'm going to take my finger and I want to try and insert. Okay, so that, what you're hearing right there is the top of the rib cage. So I want to cut along the top of the rib cage carefully and gently. Anything to release it, okay? So there's that. So I'm gonna run this all the way down, then right about here, I'm gonna go all the way to the all the way to the other side, and I'm trying to I'm, I'm staying along the spine, and I'm cutting all the way down to about right. Uh oh, yep. Uh, let's see here. I stay on the right side. I stay on the opposite side. So I missed the bone, but that's okay. So I want to stay on this side. And that will help for filleting the other side, actually. And I want to just drive the bone all the way down. Move my hand out the way. And right about there, okay? I'm going to come back up here. And then here, you can see, I'm going to try to ride the blade up and over. On the stomach. On the rib cage. So, put that up. Get around the, the ribs here. And, and make sure this cut solid. And we could get this a little bit around there. Like so, okay. So a little bit of meat here that we missed, but that's okay. A little bit of meat there missed, but that's okay. I'm gonna just go a little bit further down to the fin here, and then to release the skin, uh, to release the meat from the skin, I'm gonna flip this over here. What you want to do is then you just want to. Run the flat of the fillet knife against the skin and cut. Be careful not to cut through the skin, but just to cut the uh, the meat off. I don't like to do this, to be honest with you, but some people do. And it really helps to have a really, really sharp fillet knife. This one is okay, but not as sharp as it could be. And I'm releasing this the meat from the skin. A little bit left on, but you get the idea, okay? Um, it's just for demo, um, but for the most part, this is what you're left with, and you repeat on the other side. So I'm going to set this aside, and then I'm going to flip the fish over, and repeat.